Well, hello, Sonoma County. Welcome back to our channel. We are enjoying a gorgeous day right here in Sonoma County. Um, check out this view behind me. We are standing at a beautiful home in Santa Rosa, right off of Brush Creek Road, um, and it is just one of our favorite areas of Sonoma County. And we figured let's talk about buying a house while we give you some eye candy of what owning a home in Sonoma County could potentially look like for you too. So have you thought about buying a house and you're trying to gauge what the heck is going on in this market? Would it be a good idea to buy a house right now or would it be a bad idea and you should maybe hold off and wait for the market to crash or wait for you know better financing options or whatever else you're hearing in the news media from your family or friends. This video is gonna tell you exactly what's going on in the Sonoma County market, why it might be a good idea to think about buying a house, regardless of what you're reading elsewhere, and kind of give you some insights of the next steps to move forward. Before we dive into that, I'm Morgan Devincenzi with Sullivan Group Real Estate, and we help people move into, out of, and all around Sonoma County every year. So if you are thinking of making that move, whether you're gonna be moving into the area or you already live here, we would love to help. We'd love to chat with you. One of our favorite things is to educate people about the home buying process. That means talking about the market, talking about what to expect during the transaction, how house hunting works, what can you expect from your realtor, and so much more. To talk about any of that or any other questions you have, my information is right here on the screen. Please reach out. You can call, text, email, carrier pigeon, whatever. And we would love to chat with you about all things Sonoma County and Sonoma County real estate, especially when it comes to you buying a home with us. Let's go. Okay, so becoming a homeowner here in Sonoma County is absolutely like a dream come true. And it is our honor to help our clients reach that right here in Sonoma County. So how does it work? And is it actually a good time? Let's start with how it works for just a moment. So how it works is you are watching this video likely because you are curious about buying a home and trying to figure out if maybe you should go for it or start that conversation with a professional, AKA me. <laughs> Absolutely reach out. Let's have the conversation. We can answer the questions. There's no pressure. The best part about buying a house is that you actually don't pay your realtor and you actually don't pay your lender if you need financing, AKA like a mortgage. Uh, the realtor gets paid by the, the owner of the property that you're purchasing. The seller pays the realtors and then the lender gets paid by the company that they get the loan through. So you only have to focus on the money that you're going to put towards that actual purchase of a property. So it kind of takes a little bit more pressure off of you and you know that I'm not going to pressure you into buying a house. That's one of the biggest um, hesitations that I hear from new home buyers or home buyers moving into this area, even if they've done it before is I don't want to get pressured into buying a house. Well, I don't blame you. I would absolutely hate for that to happen to me too. The best part about buying a house is everything is up to you. You get to decide when, you get to decide where, you get to decide within what you're pre-approved for, what your budget purchase price is actually gonna look like, and you get to decide what condition the home is. What's the best fit for you and your family and your specific scenario? So that's a big overview synopsis. There's a lot more details that goes into all of this, but for now, that's a good overview of kind of how this works and what you can expect from us that we're just here to guide you, educate you, and provide a lot of resources along the way to help you to eventually handing you those keys and congratulating you on becoming a homeowner here in Sonoma County. So let's get into the market. What is going on in the market? Okay, elephant in the room, unicorn flying over my head right now. Cue the unicorn. Um, yes, the market was crazy in the last few years. As I'm filming this video, it's May of 2023 right now. So um, the last three-ish years, those pandemic years were unicorn years. And while they were very exciting and some people, you know, feel like they really got ahead because they got this really low mortgage rate and they got in in this crazy market, you know, that might've been the right time for them and congratulations and we're excited for them. And we're excited for all of our clients that we were able to help during that time as well. But the interest rates were so low because the 
our nation, our world was kind of a mess with a global pandemic. And that was our economy and our nation's way of responding to a halt in so many other areas of the economy. They lowered the interest rates to keep the economy moving. So it's not actually healthy to stay there. And two to 3% interest rates are not coming back. Let's take a minute to digest that. They're not coming back. It's not going to happen. You can kiss that goodbye. You can congratulate your friends who were able to lock one in. But let's think about when those interest rates were two and 3%. What was happening when you were buying a home at that interest rate? When we were helping our clients here in Sonoma County, and I'm gonna talk sp Sonoma County specific because outside of Sonoma County, every market's a little bit different. So Sonoma County specifically, we had dozens of offers. I think a few houses, there were even like 32, 35 offers on one house. Now let's think for a second, what do you think is gonna happen when there's 32, 35, or even 15 offers on one house? It creates that bidding war scenario. So yes, you're getting a house for, you know, two, 3%, which helps you afford more in your, in your um, pre-approval and your overall mortgage loan, that's great. But are you possibly overpaying for a house because of the competition that has, you know, made happen? Most likely. You know, we saw as interest rates came up and the demand started to diminish um, towards the end of about 2022, fall of 2022, the interest rates came up to almost 7% or over 7% actually. And the demand pretty much disappeared from the market. And you know what was happening? Houses were selling for under the listing price or houses were selling for at the listing price, but buyers were finally able to negotiate repairs. During the two and 3% times, you would get into contract on a house and if it needed a new roof in a few years, well, you better get ready to save some money for a new roof because you aren't negotiating, negotiating that with the seller. Isn't that crazy? You know, for some it might have been right, but for others, it's probably a better idea that you're weighted and that you're in a position now to start the home buying process. So as we kind of look at where the market is now, we got out of the two and 3% range, where we got out of the seven plus percent range, and now we're in what's a very normal interest rate actually. So get this, here's a little factoid for you. The average interest rate over the last 50 to 55 years that has been tracked in the US, the average interest rate is about eight and a quarter percent. So that means, I'm not even like your mathematician over here, that's why I'm not a lender. That means half the time, the interest rate has been more than eight and a quarter percent and people still bought houses. So we are even a good amount under the average of the last 50 plus years. And if you're looking at buying a house, the most important factors are, is this the right time for you? Can you find a house that's gonna fit your needs for years to come? And are you prepared to stay in the same location to start building equity and building wealth? Building wealth is absolutely everything that home ownership is about. Um, I believe there's a, there's a stat out there and I'll put it in the comments to make sure I get it right, but I think it's something along the lines of the average renter has a net worth of $8,000 and the average homeowner has a net worth of about $400,000. And you know where a lot of that comes from? Building equity in a home. You see the home prices increase year over year you see the home prices, you know, people make renovations and the equity in their house is now worth more because the home is in better shape than it was when they bought it. Plus year over year, it improves in value anyways. That's money in your pocket that you can use towards your next home purchase maybe. Or you can use that to put your kids through college in 10 years. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a really beautiful way for you to create financial stability within your life and within your family simply by buying a home, taking care of it, and making that mortgage payment every month. That's about all it takes. Um, but to get your foot in the door, you do have to get started. And the best time to buy a house was yesterday. I know that wasn't really a great answer, but the next best time to buy a house is today. So with that, start the conversation. We would love to talk with you about what home buying means to you. 
Like I said, we don't pressure you into anything. We're gonna help you find a house that truly does fit your needs and we'll help you through every step. So talk to us, tell us what you're looking for. Are you looking with something with more land? Are you looking for something totally move-in ready because you're not handy? That's okay, we can help you find that. Are you looking for something <laughs> with views like this? Are you looking for something that's going to be a stepping stone? You know you're not making your money yet in your career that you're gonna be making in five years, but why not start building wealth now? Build that equity up, stop paying rent to your landlord, put that money back in your pocket, and then in five years when you get that next promotion and you're making a lot more money, you can sell the house, use that extra down payment towards your, your next purchase, you can afford more because you're probably making more at work. Yay, those are good things. And now you're in like a long-term dream home kind of style property. That's normal here in Sonoma County. More often than not, our clients are not buying their dream home the first time out of the gate. They're buying a beautiful property that is safe and enjoyable and a good fit for their current life, but they know they'll probably only be there five to 10 years and that's okay. Average people move every five to seven years anyways. So keep that in mind as you're looking at properties and you're looking at the, the you know listing prices and kind of get some of that sticker shock. It's a stepping stone. It's a you know move in the right direction to build financial stability and build wealth for your family and give yourself a life that sometimes people don't even realize they can have just by buying a house and owning a home. So the market is in a good position right now. We have steady interest rates. We have a ton of loan programs because of that. So if you're going to need a mortgage, AKA you don't have $600,000 to throw down on a house in the bank, that's okay. Most of us don't. If you're going to need a mortgage, now is the time that you have so many different loan programs to leverage. And we have wonderful lenders that we can connect you with. We have lenders for people who are self-employed. We have lenders for people who, you know, get tips under the table. It's okay. We just got to track it. Um, we have lenders for people that, you know, want really in-depth education about all the numbers. We have lenders that are mortgage brokers. And so going to one lender, you can shop 30 different companies to find the best rate in the bust loan program for you. We work with veterans who use the VA loan. There's also the USDA loan, which is also a 0% down um, loan program that if you don't have a lot of cash to put down on a property, that could be a good option for you. And we'd love to help you with that. But the first step is to absolutely reach out. Let's chat. Let's talk about your goals. Let's talk about where you want to be in the near future. And then the most important part is where you want to be ultimately in the far future too and we'll help you create that roadmap. Buying a house is totally attainable, buying a house is totally doable, and we cannot wait to help you. So reach out, again, contact information is on the screen. I hope you found this helpful. I tried not to get too nitty gritty and all this data and details and things like that because every scenario is gonna be different. Hopefully this was high level enough to show you that it is possible and to encourage you to start the conversation. If you like this video, tap the like button. If you have any comments, thoughts, maybe you've bought a house and you agree with me, hopefully, um, drop it down below. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'd love to answer your questions down below. Um, subscribe, tap the bell so you'll be notified when we release more helpful information about all things Sonoma County and Sonoma County real estate. Share more views like this. And we so appreciate you being here, watching our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.